All right, short and simple video for you today. I'm going to show you how to use Amazon SES, simple email service, and connect that with your high level account so that you can use uh, high levels SMTP feature to connect to Amazon SES's SMTP feature and use that to send all of your emails uh, for whatever reason you might have. Amazon SES is significantly cheaper for high volume emails than the integrated LC uh, mailgun integration with high level. So maybe that's your reason, or maybe you were using fluent CRM and you're wanting to move to high level and you went through all the process of setting up Amazon SES. I have other videos on my channel that show you how to do that. And you're thinking, well, I've already got SES set up. I want to use it with high level. Well, this is the tutorial for you. So let's jump in. It's not too difficult. So in order for this to work, you need to be out of the sandbox. If you have questions about that, I cover all of that inside of my all access membership. I also have other videos on the channel that uh, give you some hints about what to do. Um, I'll put those in the description. Uh, but what you need to do is go into the region that you've been approved in and then go to SMTP settings on the left hand side. And here it's just giving you your default SMTP endpoint for the region that you're in and the port number that you're going to want, which in my case is 465. What you're looking for is this orange create SMTP credentials button. Go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to be given uh, this prompt to enter in a username. You can use this default one that they've given you, or you can create your own. So let's go ahead and create our own. I'll call mine high level test. And then you just need to click create user. And here are your credentials. Now, once you leave the screen, you will never get these credentials back. So I recommend you click on this download CSV file button. It's going to download a simple CSV file that you can open up in something like Excel or Sheets or whatever, and that'll have your SMTP password and username. Now inside of high level, we want to go to settings and then go to email service, and we're going to click add service. We're going to choose an SMTP provider as other, and we're going to start to fill out this information. Or provider name you can put whatever you want this is amazon ses so i'll just put ses demo because you can see in the background i already have mine configured now for our smtp server and port number those are what i saw over here under smtp settings so we'll copy those pop them in there and now we need our username our email and our password those are what we received here with our smtp credentials so go ahead and copy your username pop that into the username field and then for email, you're going to want to use an email at the domain that you've registered and set up Amazon SES to work with. For me, that would be Doug at Convology.com. And then your password is right here. You're going to want to copy that. With all of those credentials in, you can just click save. Now, if you received an error message, maybe you're not out of the sandbox yet. That means you need to apply to get out. But if everything worked, you're good to go. Now you can test this, of course. You can, of course, test this by sending yourself a test email from a campaign and just making sure that it comes from the sending domain that you've set up inside of Amazon SES. If you have any questions about the initial setup of Amazon SES, definitely check out the video that I've linked in the description, possibly in the card that just appeared on the screen. That will help you get set up. All right, hope that was helpful. Lots of useful links down below in the description. I'll see you in the next video.